Hi, I'm Josh Reimer, and I'm going to teach you how to make something for your honey that won't cost a lot of money. I'm talking about Valentine's Day. So before you go out and buy something that screams, sorry I'm so lame, I didn't really try, I'm going to show you how to make something that says, look how thoughtful I am, and I didn't have to buy. So let me show you how to make your very own romantic felt fortune cookies, and you won't even need to sew it. <laughs> For this romantic and thoughtful gift, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pen, some good scissors and red felt, some floral wire, and speed sew. And if you're like me, you might also want to have a roll of masking tape and a felt marker so your circles are actually circular. I bet you didn't know that I once fell in love with a French chef. Yeah, he really buttered me up. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our scissors and our piece of felt. Now this was the size that it was when I went to the craft store, which is actually perfect to give us four circles. So you're just going to fold it in half and cut along the fold. And then fold that again and cut along the fold. Then take the masking tape and make your circle. I made mine red because I had trouble staying within the lines. I was that kid. Do you know what cavemen used to give their wives on Valentine's Day? Uggs and kisses. Next, grab your floral wire and we want to measure out a piece that's about half an inch shorter than the diameter of our circle. And since mine is quite thin, I'm going to bend it in half so that it is twice as strong. I'm going to twist it all up together so it's like one piece and try to get it as straight as I can. I once went on a Valentine's Day date with someone who was about a foot shorter than me. He was my valentine <laughs> Then we're going to grab some of the leftover felt and we're going to cut a strip of it to cover up our wire. Yep, apparently I can't do anything straight. <laughs> my mom's sister actually ran off and got married on Valentine's Day. That's why I call her my antelope. <laughs> More of these to come, folks. Now we're going to use some speed sew to glue the wire across the center of the circle. Put it right across the wire and then we want to add a bit of glue to the strip of fabric. I'm friends with a farmer and every Valentine's Day he gives his wife the same thing. Hogs and kisses. <laughs> Now we wait about 30 minutes for the speed sew to completely dry and while that's happening you can make some more and you can also make the notes that you're going to stick inside. You just take your piece of paper and cut some little strips like you'd typically find in a fortune cookie about half an inch in width and maybe a couple inches in length and you can write whatever you like on it. Maybe something like I love you with all my heart. Valentine's Day is actually my favorite time of the year to celebrate. I love to party hearty. <laughs> Yeah, I really party it up on Valentine's Day. That's what single people do, okay? When it's completely dry, you fold the circle in half along your piece of wire. Grab the top and bottom with your middle finger and thumb and just pull them toward each other while sort of pushing in on the center, making the shape of a fortune cookie. I once dated an abstract painter who shared his true feelings for me on Valentine's Day. He said he loved me with all his art. Now you just want to put your note inside the cookie so you can just slide it in there. You can actually carefully fold back a flap. You could even put some candies in here if you wanted, if they were just small little candies. But remember, candies might be sweet, but a love note from you to your lover is even sweeter. Then just carefully close it back up and adjust as needed. And there you have it! A romantic Valentine's Day felt fortune cookie. Guaranteed to keep you out of the doghouse and turn your boyfriend or girlfriend into your spouse. I'm Josh Reimer and I just showed you that you don't need to sew it. Want to win your own bottle of Speed Sew for free? We're giving away three packages of this stuff to people who leave comments below this video. So let me know what you think about these felt fortune cookies or other ideas you've got for Valentine's Day gifts that don't require sewing. And on Valentine's Day, we will do a random draw from the people who leave comments to get their own free bottle. And of course, make sure you also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to have lots more videos coming out where I'll show you cool things that you can make without the need to sew them. Toodles! I bet you didn't know that I once fell in love with a, l with a large French chef. He was big. Yeah, I party it up on Valentine's Day. 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 That's a seizure. <laughs> yeah, I party it up on Valentine's Day. Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Day. It's Valentine's Day. Day. That's just what it is. It's what it Valentine's Day. Forever will be known as is Valentine's Day Day.